Welcome back, viewer. I'm Drone Tech, and today we're going to be heartily laughing at the Washington Post fact checker, Glenn Kessler. Once again, Glenn's fiercely partisan blinders have gotten him into trouble and is currently in the process of stepping on rakes in the form of Twitter community notes that keep proving he's full of shit. Since Trump, Republicans, and really many other people have accused the Democrats of being bought and paid for by George Soros, the Democrat state media must take the opposite position and attack anybody who makes this claim of being an anti semi and racist naturally uh, and of course you gotta you, 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 you gotta uh, just what's this line look at the soros just... back now it's just jews they're attacking jewish no. international bankers it's what anti-semites have been doing for hundreds of years and it also comes as trump and a number of his allies have been using dog whistle attacks uh anti-semitic attacks against uh as when they attack da alvin bragg by saying that he is backed by george soros who is Jewish. Mr. Trump has been indicted. Republican allies now have been continuing his lines of attacking the prosecutor, attacking the prosecution and the prosecutor using some anti-Semitic dog whistles, also some racist undertones to a lot of that. Of course! What are these racist and anti-Semitic undertones? Who knows because they never give examples. Apparently it's just because Bragg is black and Soros is Jewish. It almost seems like Democrats want minorities in their party so that they can use their intrinsic qualities as shields from criticism. What? No. Many of you are probably wondering, where did that 700 billion missing from our economy go? Now to help answer that, let me introduce our good friend, billionaire head funds manager, George Soros. Thank you very much, Mr. Soros. You're a great man. Yes, could I just add that uh, even though you know what's coming, you won't be able to do anything about it. You're a wise man, Mr. Soros, and a powerful one. You are better than us. Your wife is physically attractive. Sell her to me, please. <laughs> sure. Okay. It's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny! Alright, so obviously that's a clip from Saturday Night Live. Are we supposed to believe that they're anti-Semitic? The reason they're joking about it is because it's true. That's what makes jokes funny. In any case, the Democrat state media operatives have sprung into action to defend the Democrats and George Soros, claiming that he never donated to Bragg, and it's all just the right-wing conspiracy theory. Except it's not. Glenn Kessler posted a link to his article on Twitter titled, The Incendiary Claim That George Soros Funds Alvin Bragg. Oh, it's incendiary to scrutinize this DA Alvin Bragg because he's black and George Soros because he's Jewish. What do these qualities have to do with anything? Nothing, but it's a good distraction for the rubes. Soon after, Glenn Kessler's fact check got checked by Twitter's community notes, correctly stating, quote, Soros donated 1 million to the Color of Change PAC, the largest individual donation it received in the 2022 election cycle. Days after, it endorsed Bragg for district attorney and pledged more than 1 million in spending to support his candidacy. Yes, that is absolutely true and nobody in the Democrat state media can deny it. So it's not like there's no connection here between Alvin Bragg and George Soros. I mean, there's literally a story in the Washington Post titled pack funded by George Soros pumps nearly 1 million into local races for prosecutor, making the charges of anti-Semitism and racism appear to be exactly what they are, cheap distractions. And to say that Twitter ratioed Kessler would be a horrific understatement. Your fact check got fact checked. You absolute soulless clown. I think the best of all things is Glenn Kessler getting fact checked over his bogus fact check. Fact checker neutralized by community notes. What even is the point of you these days, Glenn? I don't think you appreciate the level of hatred and contempt the average person feels towards you. The fact that a journalist doing a fact check needed to be fact checked shows how Twitter will hold activist journalists accountable and embarrass them on a public stage. George Soros even wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal titled why I Support Reform Prosecutors, where he brags about supporting radical prosecutors. Ha! Stop! He's already dead! No, that wasn't the end of it. As if these people would ever admit they're wrong. Kessler came back for more, and again, spread false claims that were quickly nuked like a site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> Twitter trolls who posted a community note to this tweet apparently have never read the actual fact check. <laughs> 
click the link and you will find that the color of change did not spend one million in independent expenditures on brag as people often claim what a total asshole he's a fact checker but you're all just twitter trolls except he's the guy that keeps posting lies nobody claimed that he spent one million on brag only that they pledged to do so which they did instead they only spent half a million on brag which had just been donated to them by Soros. They gave half of it to Bragg and kept the other half. How progressive. Kessler also hilariously posted this. <laughs> and the link in the community note leads to an article headline. <laughs> Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg ties to billionaire George Soros are not as close as Republicans claim. <laughs> Wait a minute, now you're moving the goalpost. First, he said that any suggestion that there were ties between Soros and Bragg were anti Semitic and incendiary. Now he admits that there was a connection and that somehow this proves everybody else was a conspiracy theorist. Once again, the so called fact checkers proved themselves to be nothing more than Democrat Party damage control. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on the next one.